Honda has a long history of producing some of the most well-built motorcycles money can buy. Quality, durability, and performance have always been good with the bikes from Big Red. And with the 2016 Honda CRF 450R, that reputation looks like it will continue. Last year, some may remember, the CRF 450R received numerous changes to the engine and suspension, aimed at improving the handling and power of this big motocrosser. For the most part, these improvements were met with rave reviews, but, as always, there remained some room for improvement. With the Honda engine just about where the engineers want it, they focused for 2016 on changes to the suspension, along with the required bold new graphics. Presumably, these relatively simple changes will allow Honda to get an earlier start on the 2017 CRF 450R, which is rumored to be completely new from the ground up. Back to the 2016 CRF 450R, with the goal of further enhancing the ride quality, Honda added 5mm of length to the fork, and upgraded the rear with a new Lincoln spring, plus fine-tuned shock settings. Aside from these improvements, and a 4mm smaller chain roller, the 2016 CRF 450R is basically the same bike as the 2015 model. On the track which is to say it's a fun bike on the motocross track. Although we had a pretty good idea of how the 2016 CRF 450R would perform, we didn't know how much the handling would change. What we discovered was this. With the longer fork and revised rear, the bike has significantly improved straight line stability and comfort. The attitude of the 2016 CRF 450R is better. The bike no longer has the stink bug feel that it has been plagued with for years. But while comfort had improved, cornering was slightly hindered. With sag set at the recommended 105mm, the bike didn't settle into ruts or corners. To fix this, we went to 103mm of sag and stiffened up the steering damper 3 clicks to keep the front end stable. This fixed the problem, allowing the front end to bite into corners and maintain a line without taking away from the straight line handling. We also adjusted the compression clickers on the fork and shock. On hard hits, both bottomed out and fell too soft. By going in two clicks on the fork and shock, we drastically reduced the bottoming that we were experiencing. The 2016 Kayaba suspension allows for more adjustability, and in spite of what one might think, a few clicks make a big difference. The power of the 2016 CRF 450R is good, but it has an electric feel. It doesn't hit as hard as some of the other 450 seconds. What the motor does do well, though, is reverend on top, the CRF continues to produce usable power, revving out without signing off. The mapping selection switch, which has a slower slash retarded map, aggressive map, and a standard map, works very well. Maps can be changed with the bike and gear and the clutch in, making it easy to experiment during practice. We suspect that faster riders will prefer the harder-hitting aggressive map, as it helps the Honda produce more power quickly and efficiently. On slick tracks, however, or when fatigue starts to set in, the slower and standard maps might be a good choice. The verdict although the 2016 Honda CRF 450R has received only a few minor changes, we were very impressed with the improved performance. The suspension changes have elevated the comfort level, while the engine remains just as reliable and strong as last year. With a few tweaks and an aftermarket exhaust system to boost the power and low-end hit, this new Honda is a worthy weapon for just about any rider. Ups! Balanced and predictable chassis, new ignition maps are easy to use and effective, strong and progressive brakes, engine revs and pulls strong, the bike is a light feel comfortable ergonomics for the average rider. Downs. Power doesn't hit as hard as other 450 seconds, stock grips are too firm, suspension too soft for faster or heavier riders, clutch can fade during long, hot motos.